right in that tartar sauce. Don't be shy with the tartar sauce now. Take this to the dome, y'all. That is delicious. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Emo Plants Official Kitchen. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make vegan fish and chips. We're gonna use seafood mushroom today. This is a mushroom that actually tastes like seafood. It's gonna make a great vegan fish and chips. So, it's not wasting more time here. Let's get right into this. Here is the mushroom right here. It is a seafood mushroom, you see? It just says seafood mushroom on there. You can get this at most Asian supermarkets. All right, so real quick here, take these mushrooms. They're gonna have this kind of nasty part on the bottom here. Just cut that off, y'all. Mushrooms all ready to go here. When you cut your mushrooms, make sure you guys cut it really close to the edge. That way, all these kind of stay intact more. Mine are kind of falling apart, but that's cool. We got some nori here to save the day. So this is seaweed nori sheet. Let's rip the corner off, and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with this. So we take one of our pieces of mushroom here, and we're just gonna put it in this nori sheet. All right and just kind of roll it up. And I would use one whole nori sheet per piece. You're just gonna wet this side here. So this sticks, and there you have it, y'all. This is your vegan fish right here, man. Looks kind of weird, but it's gonna taste good. Let's get right into it. All right, let's make a quick and easy vegan beer batter. So right here, I got some pastry flour. I'm gonna use this today because this one is a little bit lower protein content. It's gonna give you a nice, light, crispy, batter compared to the all-purpose flour but you guys can use either one so we got two cups of flour in there I'm going in with Stella Artois I think that's how you say it, Artois I love this beer it's delicious let's go right in with this whisk this in here also going in with some Lowry seasoning here you guys could just use regular salt you can use seasoning salt or you guys could do some Old Bay. I know a lot of people like Old Bay. And that's it. Your quick, easy, vegan beer batter. Let's make some fish and chips, y'all. Got some oil heating up right here, real quick. Get you a sip of this. Stella Artois, y'all. Take this to the dome. Our oil's heated up here. It's at about 385 degrees right here. We got our vegan fish. Going right in our batter with this. Give it a good dunk here. Make sure y'all shake off the excess batter. Shake it. Then go right into our oil with it, y'all. All right, once your fish or your vegan fish is nice and golden brown, we're just gonna remove this from the oil. All right, let's make our fries. So right here, we got the wrong fries, y'all. It's all good, though. The show must go on. I'm just gonna air fry these to save some time and calories. All right, let's make a quick vegan tartar sauce. I'm going in with some vegan mayo here. Going in with some fresh dill here. Some lemon, no seeds. Some capers going in. Dill pickle going in here. Dijon mustard. Going in with some pepper here. We're gonna skip on the salt because we can always taste and adjust after. Blend this. Let's give this a quick taste here. It's delicious, but it does need some salt. I'm also gonna go in with some sugar here just to balance this, just a touch of sugar. Pop this lid back on here. Blend this. Let's give this a taste here. That is delicious. Your finished vegan tartar sauce. First, we're gonna go down with our fries here, y'all. Our homemade tartar sauce going in. Some lemon, some dill. There you have it, y'all. You're finished. Restaurant style vegan fish and chips. Looks amazing. Get you a bite of this. Let's eat. Let's get this started. Got a Stella right here. Let's pop the top on this. Take one of these lemons here. Squeeze it right in there. Also, Get some on the fish there, the vegan fish. Get you a sip of this. If you're over the age of 21, get you a sip of this. If you're under the age of 21, get you a sip of this water here. Take this to the dome, y'all. Ah, 
All right, started off with some fries here, right in the tartar sauce with it. Get you a bite of this. Mmm. That tartar sauce is amazing. It's perfect. Mmm. It is delicious. I'll make that again for sure. I got the wrong fries, guys. Fish and chips are supposed to have some thick cut fries. That's on me. Get you a bite of this right here, y'all. Vegan fish. Y'all seeing this? Look at that. Vegan fish right here and chips. Dip it right in that tartar sauce. Don't be shy with the tartar sauce now. Take this to the dome, y'all. That is delicious. Wow. That is amazing, y'all. Another bite of this. Perfect. Mmm. <laughs> that seaweed. Kind of fishy flavor. And then that mushroom is already flavored like the sea and it has that texture. Try this. Trust me. And serve this with the thick cut fries. Clear that palate, y'all. Cheers. Oh, yes. Another one here, y'all. Take this to the dome. Mmm. I can't get a focus on this. Mm. Yeah, I'm really glad I, gl I wrapped these with the nori. Mm. Huh. You can serve this at a restaurant. It's crispy, excellent texture inside and outside. The, the batter is like so easy to make. Three ingredients. Last bite here, y'all. Incredible. That's it. Let me know what you want to see me cooking next down in the comments. Smash that like button. Smash that red subscribe button. Share this video with someone who should eat more plants. I'll see you guys next time. Eat more plants, y'all.